Hi, look what just arrived. The new XDS110 Debug Probe. Well, if you're if you're already familiar with the uh, MSP432, the CC2650, the 1350 launch pads, it's nothing new. However, this is the uh, standalone version of it, so it can al allows you to connect to any hardware, and it has some interesting uh, uh, additional uh, capabilities uh, and features. So. That is, let's take a look at it in, in what comes in the box. Basically, well, talking about the box itself, it's comparing to my MSP432 launch pad. It's about the same size of the, uh, the box, it's the same depth and uh, width, and it's a little bit, oops, it's a little bit thicker, uh, about twice the thickness of a typical, a typical uh, launch pad box. Let's crack it open and take a look at what is inside. Using a small knife. Let me go through this. Uh oh. Hope to have destroyed anything. Hmm. Ta da! Alright, contents, terms and conditions, oh. and two small uh, leaflets. Uh, with basic explanations and a nice uh, website to to learn uh, to learn more about it. And inside, well, typical USB cable, nice. The probe and a bunch of smaller smaller things. Let's take a look at it. Uh huh. The probe itself. Nice, nice darkened uh, uh, box. It's um, it's interesting. It has differently than other uh, JTAG debuggers. It has uh, two cables. Uh, one is for the typical uh, JTAG debugging. It has a uh, TI twenty pin high density uh, connector in it, and the other one is hmm, energy trace. The same energy trace that you have. Here, yeah, MSP432 uh, launch pad. So, let's take a, a quicker look at those things later. Hmm, here's one, one small, one small bag with an adapter. <laughs> that is cool. That is the adapter um, for the energy trace. So it's a breakout board that actually uh, breaks out all the pins in with convenient 0.1 inch headers. So this is, uh, it helps a lot with the high density, converting from the high density to the 0.1 inch, inch headers. And there's another bag here. Let's see. This other bag comes with, aha, uh -huh, three adapters, three, a set of three adapters. And these three adapters arm uh, from the twenty uh, from the twenty pin to the arm ten pin. Let's take a look at the other. Uh huh. The same twenty pin of the JTAG debugger, but now for the ARM 20 pin. Nice. And the, by the way, that 20 pin is the high density one, not the older standard. Uh, and this is the, uh, okay, the 20 pin to the, aha, uh -huh, the, to the TI 14 pin. Well, that helps a lot. Uh, now you don't have any any more problems in actually having putting things uh, trying to decide which board you have which JTAG debugger you have and whatnot so you have it all the kit here pretty cool pretty cool it comes it helps a lot in connecting things let's take a, a quicker look uh, a closer look at at the components taking a closer look at the probe itself it is 
conveniently sized. It's about the same size as a, a typical uh, launch pad here. And, uh, and it comes in a nice uh, plastic, plastic case uh, with your regular USB and the two LEDs uh, for, for monitoring the status of the JTAG and just the nameplate of it. And this is the uh, part where you have the auxiliary cable and the, 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 the debug cable. The auxiliary cable uh, performs functions not only for energy trace, but also for uh, UART. It has a UART in, in it. And it also has uh, some GPIO, so you can control things on your target directly uh, from, the, from the pod. And the other interesting thing is that in the JTAG is a typical JTAG, but it supports um, not only JTAG, the Ford pin, but it also supports CJTAG in several modes. And it supports also SWD, uh, the ARM SWD, uh, with SWO trace as well. So basically it's very, very well featured. And the other thing too, physically speaking, is that if you're not using the auxiliary functions, you can remove its cable. If you're not using the debug but just the auxiliary functions, you can also remove its cable. And on the top here, it's just the name of the of the of the pod plus an expansion header here. This expansion header is for a future product that extends the dynamic range of the uh, energy trace. The energy trace that comes built in is the same energy trace as the one on the launch pad on the MSP432 launch pad is the energy trace that that, uh, that is fully fledged uh, from the get-go for MSP432 uh, targets. Uh, the the extent expansion here can extend this for 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 a, a multitude of other target or other targets, mostly the wireless uh, connectivity uh, microcontrollers. That's it. I hope you have enjoyed a quick look at the XCS 110 debug probe. See you next time.